Welcome to the Woman Angler and Adventurer Podcast, inspiring real women with a passion for fishing and the outdoors to go get their adventure on. Now, here's your host, Angie Scott and Barb Perry. Warning, this 5-Minute Friday episode is also a video episode. If you want to experience the ultimate effect, watch on Waypoint TV or on our YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, or on WomanAngler.com. Welcome to another 5-Minute Friday, and uh, this week we're going to talk about some tips to find fish close to your house. I mean, we're in this period of time where we're supposed to be doing the social isolation and a lot of us are getting kind of stir crazy in our houses. We want to go out, but we don't want to go out near people and we're supposed to not be around other people. So there are some ways to find some fishing spots close to your house that you may not even known were there. So it might be an opportunity to find some spots you would have never had to consider going to look for. One of the resources that I use is these gazetteers. I live in Wisconsin, but you can see I have them from other states that I visit frequently. And um, the details on this these maps, I mean, it has all the boat launches, all the public accesses, and you can kind of just do a circle around the area where you live and find little streams. Now, even, you know, there's, you can see a road that crosses a stream in a lot of places you can access that you wouldn't ordinarily think of. So if you do some exploring around where you live, you might find some out of the way little spot. I used to live in Oklahoma. I used to find spots all the time. We'd be catching channel cats and saugers and stuff. Now, if you pair this map with a local fishing map, now this is uh, one of the things Wisconsin has. This is their little trout regulation handbook. And it has the same kind of mapping system on the back. They divide the state into grids. Then you just have to turn to the page of your grid. And on these gazetteers, they have the same thing. So if, if I live in this area, you know, I can find where that area is on the map. So I'm in area 19 or say whatever area you're in. Then it has all the trout streams um, listed and they color code them by what the regulations are. You can kind of get an idea which ones are poten potentially holding more fish. So um, I'm not sure about what all the other states have, but I know Wisconsin has this great trout one. There's all sorts of other information online, but there's something about having a paper map with you that kind of helps you see things that you may ordinarily not be looking for. Um, maybe just out of reach of where you're looking and where the roads cross the streams and how they attach to lakes. Everyone has that near them, unless you're in the heart of a big metropolitan area. So, you know, just kind of challenge yourself to get out there and maybe do things that you wouldn't normally be doing. I know we all have our favorite ways to fish and we, it's easy to just get it in the patterns that we're used to and do the same thing. In the spring we go here, in the summer we go there. But use this as an opportunity to just kind of step a little bit out of where you live close to home and find some spots that you ordinarily wouldn't have found. So that's what I'm going to do to myself today. I'm challenging myself. I'm going to go find a spot that I've never fished before that's within 10 miles of my house and look for that in a follow-up video because if we catch fish, I will show you what we found that I had no idea that was there until today. So Follow up after this, we'll do a short little video on the page um, and you can check it out. We may strike out, we may not, but either way, finding new ways to expand your fishing horizon and give you something to research and get out and try, it's worth it. So this that concludes this week of 5 Minute Friday, but look for that follow up video that I'm going to do with what I find today when I go on my little 10 mile radius of my house.